Hey guys, welcome to this edition of Tesla Timeouts. Uh, my name is Kenneth Bokor for the EV Revolution Show. Appreciate you taking the time to watch this episode. Uh, I've got a few product reviews that I'm going to do coming up on this episode, but I wanted to share, give you an update a little bit about my experiences so far with the Model 3. I've had this now for about a month and a half. I got it mid-September and we're in the last day of October. Happy Halloween. By the time you see this, though, Halloween will come and gone. Um, so I thought I'd give you just a quick quick update of my experiences so far, um, other than what I explained about some wind noise that I had here, uh, somewhere in the in the window, which uh, Tesla service uh, fixed for me. I made an appointment. They fixed it really easy and fast. Um, uh, gave me a loaner for half a day, so it was, a, it was a very pleasant experience. I know some people aren't very happy with their service, but so far, mine's been good. That's the only thing I've had to do on this vehicle. Everything else has been working fine. A uh, couple of small hiccups with the screen here and there where I've had to kind of just do a soft reboot, uh, hold the two scroll bars, uh, scroll wheels down and uh, till the screen comes back. Uh, no, but the car keeps running, so I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, to be expected again, there's a lot of software that goes behind here. Now, one thing I did want to talk about is the efficiency so far. Again, mid-September till end of October, we've had our temperatures now for the month of October drop more consistently into the mid-teens Celsius, into the 15 to 10 degrees. Uh, we've had a few days where it's gone below 10 degrees Celsius. We've had some evenings where it actually got hit about zero, some frost. Uh, but mainly during the days, it's been in that single high single digit to low teen Celsius range. And how has that impacted my battery? performance so far and of course this is a new car so let me show you so as you can see um, this is a total amount of kilometers I've done in just about a month and a half it uh, it certainly is very uh, shows that the Tesla Model 3 wants to be driven as a vehicle uh, in fact all EVs do I uh, put a lot of kilometers on my leaf very quickly when I first got it uh, almost 3600 kilometers I'm averaging um, 500 and I've used 543 kilowatt hours uh, on that which is uh, 151 watt hours per kilometer or 15.1 watt hour per 100 kilometers um, a flash up here what it is in miles try to do that conversion for you if I have it wrong you guys can do it so this is my total since I picked the vehicle up I picked it up with about 30 kilometers on it so it was basically you know, rolled off the truck uh, from the train to the truck and into the uh, sales office, uh, the service center, and that was it. So very, very low my, uh, kilometers, probably a couple laps around the Tesla track in Fremont. Um, so that's basically it. So I, in my opinion, to get 15.1 with these temperatures now that we're seeing, um, you know, today we have a temperature of 12 degrees, which uh, is going to be pr close to being the high today. It's not going to get that warm. Um, I think it's very good. Now, now, one feature I did want to highlight, which I, probably other cars do that, but Tesla does it really well is uh, the ability to uh, do things uh, with home link so as you guys know I had home link installed and what it means is that when I get close to home I have a program that home link will automatically send a signal to my garage door to open it and as well I have it uh, programming the uh, folding of the side mirrors because I park very close into one side of the garage so as you can see both mirrors are out and home link is not activated yet so I'm going to drive close to home now and uh, it should sense that I'm home and now it's going to activate it in a few meters as you can see and it's sending the signal and voila my garage door is opening so and there goes the mirrors being folded in uh, a very very nice uh, touch which I like because I we park our car in all the time and then I'll come in and don't worry I won't hit anything I know it sounds like I'm uh, Tesla's telling me to stop doing what I'm doing but uh, I've been driving cars into this garage for a few years down parking them all very very well and that's it um, and so I'm able to park my vehicle now in the reverse situation it holds true as well so when I leave in the morning <clears throat> as you can see I put it in reverse and home link is going to auto close uh, this feature um, when I get clear of the garage and get a little farther down I can manually stop that uh, but as uh, there we go, it's sending the signal and there goes my garage door down all automatically. Um, so once you program it, it works really well. Now I know Homelink has been around for a while, so this isn't a great feature, uh, a new feature for probably a lot of people. But um, for me, it's a pretty, pretty great feature because we park inside each and every day. And then once I get a few meters away from home, usually... Uh, well, 50 meters or so, then the, the mirrors will unfold out and there they go, back to normal position. So I'm ready to drive.
home link obviously has those benefits that i that i uh, mentioned but the ability that you can fold the mirrors on the model 3 uh, anytime you want is a great feature and if you're not aware of this it probably is a good feature because of covid obviously we're going through drive throughs a lot more than maybe we would have in the past so what that means is every time i go through a drive through just before i get up to the 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 counterpart to pay counter or, or the window to pay where i try to get close to the window i i press the button to fold the mirrors so in case you're not aware of it if you go to the menu here and you just say fold mirrors and then there's this button here saying always fold mirrors at this location what this will do is this will G GPS tag the location so that when you get to that location again it will automatically fold the mirrors and then oh when you're roughly 30 40 meters away depends usually I fold them uh, probably about 10 uh, 20 feet before I get to the window uh, you know maybe 10 five meters or so before I get to the window and then by the time I'm through even if it's a McDonald's or somebody that has two windows like a pay and a pickup window by the time I'm through the entire drive through setup I'm well through it the mirrors will will uh, unfold again automatically uh, it's a great little feature I don't know if a lot of people use that for drive throughs uh, but I think it's a great little feature because every morning on my way to work, I, I drive through either McDonald's or Tim Hortons or something and uh, doing free advertising for these guys and get my coffee in the way in because uh, sometimes it's a bit of a drive. But nice little feature. And I thought that that is something that is really that I did not have on a lot of I didn't have it, that on the leaf. I couldn't fold the mirrors. The North American ones don't let you do that in Europe. You're, you can fold the mirrors, but not here. So I think it's a great feature all around and I hope uh, people use it. Okay, and one of the other things that I got, of course, is a, a solid state drive or a USB drive. In this case, I got a SanDisk model. Um, it's there, I forget the model of it, but uh, if you look it up, this is a 250 gig unit, but they, I think they start at 128, 250 and go upwards. <coughs> it's, excuse me, it's there. Uh, it's there basically their strong one. It's good for temperatures, gets warm, cold, it's environmental, all that kind of stuff. Um, USB and solid state and uh, works perfect with sentry mode in the dash cam here in the Tesla Model 3. So certainly I recognize that you should get something. Um, check out the ones that are, are, are available. It's mainly to deal with uh, read write speeds and uh, all that kind of stuff. So uh, hopefully that helps. All right, here's another accessory that I bought. I purchased from uh, Tesloid Canada. And we open, this is the Model 3 Aero wheel kit. So what it comes with is the lug nut covers and the caps for the for the wheels. And what makes this different is that it has small holes in these caps so that it's easier to take out. You have this little tool that you put in there and pop it out, pull it out. So they give you all that with some uh, another tool as well to take the lug caps off as well for the lug nuts. So it's pretty cool. I'm going to uh, take the, take the aero, aero covers off and put these on. I'll show you what they look like. These are what the wheels look like with the uh, hubcaps off. They pull off really easy, so don't worry about them. Just use two hands, get a nice grip, put them off, pull them off. So now let me put the caps on. All right, so that's what they look like. I didn't want to go with that whole center cap thing. I mean, that's always something I can do later, but these are were much more inexpensive than what Tesla offers. And again, this just pushes in nice and firm, and then these just go on. You can pull them out by hand, so you don't really need that tool, but they're on there pretty good. Push them in, and they make a nice seal. And hopefully I don't lose any. I'll let you know if I do. But uh, that's it. That's from Tesloid Toronto, Tesloid Canada, here in Toronto. And... Uh, if you're something interested in, I certainly recommend them. All right, here's what it looks like fully done. Uh, I like it that the uh, brake calipers have the Tesla logo on it, or at least the front ones anyway. They cheaped out on the back ones, I guess. You know, little things like that sometimes annoy me about Tesla. You're spending all this money, and for them to do, you know, a couple of little extra things, like put same big brake pads on the back with Tesla names, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but looks good and uh, anyway so i'll run with them until probably december until the winter because those caps uh, those aero covers are great to keep the snow out of the rims i think and then i'll put them back on well hey another quick accessory that i got was from amazon something i purchased um and it's one of these um vent uh, grills you've seen everybody kind of talk about on the model threes and it's really to help prevent leaves and smaller debris from coming into the uh into the hvac system on the model three and you know, getting into the fan, making noise, or getting into the actual interior of the vehicle, like ground up the leaves and that kind of stuff and bugs. 
So um, let me show you what it looks like uh, without it so you can get an idea. So this is the Model 3 uh, front hood, and this is the piece that you take off. You just, this just pops off. It's pretty easy. Uh, you'll see a lot of owners just to get servicing if you want to check your brake fluid and that kind of stuff. This is where you have to pop it off, so it's pretty easy. And there's the air intake for the HVAC system. And as you can see, it goes down relatively deep. Then it has a small a drain hole on the left hand side of the that you can see of the picture and then hopefully I can get a shot here of the uh, of the interior um, it's kind of hard to see from some of the angles especially with the uh, shadows and light but um, there is a small grill on the back there very small that's just before the cabin air filters so this actually goes right into the cabin and there's a couple of there's a very small mesh grill but it's it's there, you know, it's got some uh, good size uh, gaps in it. So this will just help uh, add another layer. And apparently it doesn't, um, it doesn't uh, do anything to the airflow uh, or hamper the fan. So let me put it on. Um, it's pretty easy to put on. It's just got some uh, three end tape, as you can see, that you peel off and it's form fitted and you just stick it. So I'll put it on and show you what it looks like. Okay, and there I've installed it, just a few layers of uh, tape. Actually, it always takes longer to, to peel that 3M tape because it's so small. So a pair of tweezers works and a little bit of fingernail so you can get under it and start it. But uh, just put it on, it just seats in. Uh, it's all a molded fit and it looks good. And I'll put the top back on and it won't interfere with anything. So uh, we've got a tree outside that's got a good amount of leaves and it's starting to fall with the fall. And we have lots of stuff around here that blows around. So it's just another little added bit to uh, keep stuff out of the cabin. And one thing I was gonna say is before you put this back on, make sure you take out this tag, uh, this emergency tag, because a lot of people tuck it in. And then when you put this uh, cover back on, you'll see a bit of that tag showing through. And that needs to be there. That's for emergency uh, EMS workers, so they know fire and rescue that uh, if they have to get you out of the car or do anything, that's where they cut from a safety perspective. So make sure you leave that out, folks. Hey guys, well, that's it for this edition of Tesla Timeout. Thanks very much for watching. Please, uh, I don't say it enough. In fact, I haven't really said it too much. If you are looking to buy a Tesla, please use my referral code. You'll get a thousand or 1500, thousand miles, 1500 kilometers of free supercharging. Uh, it'll help me to get some supercharging miles as well. Would appreciate it a lot if you use the Tesla referral code. Um, again, uh, can continue to watch me. I thank everybody for their support. And until the next show, everybody, please stay safe and we'll see you then.